Okay, so your question to the problem is which do I, numbers do I transpose? And the quick answer is all of them. But very quickly, I just want to point out um, that your objective equation, the one here at the bottom, um, it was 0.2s, 0.3t equals c. Um, so when we set this up, we just fill in a zero there for the for the transposition. So now when we transpose, just remember it means rows become columns and columns become rows. So what we're going to do here is our first row was 2, 1, 5. So therefore in our new matrix, our first column will become 2, sorry, not 2, 1, 5, 2, 1, 15. So the first column will become 2, 1, 15. The next column would become 1, 2, 15, then 1, 1, 12, and last but not least, 0.2, 0 0.3, 0. So now, this this column used to represent s. Now this row represents s. So when we assign the slack variable to it, this one will get the s. And then this one will get the t. And then this one down here is our new objective equation, um, because this is what came from the equal signs. Um, so now, the big idea here, we're going to zoom out, like make a little more space. So now the big idea here is we're going to change all these back into equations. So x, y, um, z, and equal sign, but it becomes just the standard, uh, the standard simplex problem. So it's going to be two x's plus one y plus one z um, is less than or equal to 0.2. And then x plus 2y plus z is less than or equal to 0.3. And then last but not least, our objective function would be 15x plus 15y plus 12z equals p. And because this is standard simplex, it's p, so therefore this is now thought of as a maximize. Um, so now you just do the problem up until the very end when you read your answer, you do the problem just like normal. You just, like the simplex problems, you're just going to go ahead and introduce your slack variables. So um, I'll scoot this out just, well, so in here, this one's going to get a minus s. I'm sorry, not minus s, plus s. This one in here will get a plus t, and then so on and so forth. Um, I hope that was enough.